I think it begins well below the university level. Like elementary school, nursery school, who advise and begin to expose themselves. I'm not a social worker, but I have a wife who is. And she makes it very clear what goes on in her life and the lives of our daughters. It's, it's been a real problem, and us guys up here, we can't appreciate what kinds of influences and subtle signals are passed to women from the time they begin toddling. I don't have a solution, but I, I recognize the problem. But here we are. Excellent observation. Guys. <laughs> uh, I don't have a solution either. Uh, but what I do want to acknowledge is that if half of the people on the stage, for much of it, the, the work represented here is fantastic. I strongly believe, as I'm sure you do, and many other people, if half the people on the stage were women, the work would be even better by far. So we need to try and find a way to do that. Let me tell you a couple things that we need to do. So uh, let me recognize the fact uh, that Len said. I run a Washington statewide middle school computer science college. I've been running it for about two years to three. This is going to be the third year. And uh, so now think about what we say, which is that there were, like last year, there were 190 students who participated in the competition. <coughs> Out of that, there were 33 girls. This is middle school competition of computer science. So even at that level, you're seeing that we are not getting, so this is a very, very serious fundamental problem. I mean, if you, if you're gonna, if the pipe is gonna be so thin, no matter what you do, it's not going to sort of like, you know, produce the 50% that we should get, right? So that is right. It is a fundamental social problem. Uh, and yes, what we can do, for example, to make sure one of the things we've done is we've internalized this, we are going to ask and make sure that the number of women and the men that we interview is equal. So we are not saying higher, because we also, I, I'm very conscious <coughs> about bias and reverse biases too, which is sort of like, and I've seen that happen as well, which is where, you know, it's, it's just so, sort of turns out that you really, in some sense, after intellectual honesty, and then you do it goes back. So, but what we, what we want to do is remove these uh, other biases that we've talked about. And so, we're making sure that the data is presented to everybody else, and then coaching every individual is to be aware that they have these reverse biases. So, it's going to take time. I do see some positives here because I see, for example, Harry Mudd has more women now graduating. I know you dog has got some massive percentage of women who are not enrolled in computer science. I do think Stanford still has a problem because I was told that Stanford 50% of what graduate women will uh, uh, will leave school before they graduate. So what the heck is happening in the school that 50% get into the grad school but they don't graduate? If you talk to industry, if you're not even getting the resumes, where the heck are we going to hide from? So really, honestly, uh, as parents, maybe, as family, as society, we need to kind of go in and recognize that you got to get to the elementary schools and that's it, middle school, and just start to increase the pipeline from that point on. So it's a serious problem. But for 20 years, I think we can do this. For 10, 20 years, we absolutely can do it. Shame on us if we don't do it. On this note, I completely agree. On this note, uh, I see Marco walking here up and down. So I would thank all the speakers. Please join me. And thank you. Uh, before Marco, uh, we're all going to go again and sort of see everything we've got to finish up.